Hello everyone, welcome to Math Corner. In this video, we will solve quadratic equation by completing the square. Quadratic equation in standard form is ax squared plus bx plus c is equal to 0, where a, b, and c are real numbers and a is not equal to 0. Example of quadratic equation is x squared plus 6x minus 4 is equal to 0, where a is equal to 1, b is equal to 6, c is equal to negative 4. Another example, we have x squared minus 5x minus 14 is equal to 0. And another, we have 3x squared minus 5x plus 2 is equal to 0. Let us solve these three quadratic equations by completing the square. Let us begin. Example number 1, let us solve x squared plus 6x minus 4 is equal to 0 by completing the square. Step number one, express the equation with a constant term on the right side. The constant term is negative four. Let us add positive four to both sides of the equation. Since negative four plus four is equal to zero, we have x squared plus six x on the left side. On the right side, zero plus four is equal to four. Step number 2, divide both sides of the equation by the numerical coefficient of x squared. Since the numerical coefficient of x squared is equal to 1, there is no need to divide. Step number 3, square 1 half the numerical coefficient of x and add the result to both sides of the equation. The numerical coefficient of x is equal to 6. 1 half of 6 or 6 divided by 2 is equal to 3. 3 square is equal to 9. Let us add 9 to both sides of the equation. We have x squared plus 6x plus 9 is equal to 4 plus 9. On the left side, x squared plus 6x plus 9 is a perfect square trinomial. Let us factor this. To factor perfect square trinomial, we need to extract the root of the first term and the third term. The square root of x squared is equal to x. The square root of 9 is equal to 3. Since the sign of the middle term is positive, let us write positive here and x squared plus 6x plus 9 is equal to the square of x plus 3. On the right side, 4 plus 9 is equal to 13. Step number 4, let us extract the root of both sides of the equation. The square root of the square of x plus 3 is equal to x plus 3. The square root of 13 is equal to positive negative square root of 13 by square root property. Step number 5, let us solve the resulting equation. To solve for x, we need to add negative 3 to both sides of the equation. Since 3 plus negative 3 is equal to 0, we have x on the left side. On the right side, we have negative 3 plus minus square root of 13. There are two values of x. Let us separate these two values. x sub 1 is equal to negative 3 plus square root of 13. x sub 2 is equal to negative 3 minus square root of 13. And these are the two values of x. Example number 2, let us solve x squared minus 5x minus 14 is equal to 0 by completing the square. Again, step number 1, express the equation with a constant term on the right side. The constant term is negative 14. Let us add positive 14 to both sides of the equation. Negative 14 plus 14 is equal to 0. And we have x squared minus 5x on the left side. On the right side, 0 plus 14 is equal to 14. 
And since the numerical coefficient of x squared is equal to 1, there is no need to divide. So let us proceed to step number 3. Step number 3, square 1 half the numerical coefficient of x and add the result to both sides of the equation. The numerical coefficient of x is negative 5. 1 half of negative 5 is negative 5 over 2. The square of negative 5 over 2 is equal to 25 over 4. Since negative 5 over 2 times negative 5 over 2 is equal to 25 over 4. Let us add 25 over 4 to both sides of the equation. And we have x squared minus 5x plus 25 over 4 equals 14 plus 25 over 4. x squared minus 5x plus 25 over 4 is a perfect square trinomial. And it is also equal to the square of x minus 5 over 2. On the right side, 14 plus 25 over 4 is also equal to 56 over 4 plus 25 over 4, since 56 over 4 is equal to 14. 56 over 4 plus 25 over 4 is equal to 81 over 4. Step number 4, extract the root of both sides of the equation. Square root of the square of x minus 5 over 2 is equal to x minus 5 over 2. Square root of 81 over 4 is equal to positive negative 9 over 2. Step number 5, solve the resulting equation. To solve for x, we need to add 5 over 2 to both sides of the equation. Since negative 5 over 2 plus 5 over 2 is equal to 0, we have x on the left side. On the right side, we have 5 over 2 plus minus 9 over 2. Let us separate the two values. For x sub 1, we have 5 over 2 plus 9 over 2. And this is equal to 14 over 2. And 14 over 2 is equal to 7 x sub 2 is equal to 5 over 2 minus 9 over 2 and it is equal to negative 4 over 2 and that is equal to negative 2. 7 and negative 2 are the two values of x. Last example, example number 3, let us solve 3x squared minus 5x plus 2 is equal to 0. Again, step number 1, express the equation with a constant term on the right side. The constant term is positive 2. Let us add negative 2 to both sides of the equation. 2 plus negative 2 is equal to 0. So we have 3x squared minus 5x on the left side. On the right side, 0 plus negative 2 is equal to negative 2. Step number 2, divide both sides of the equation by the numerical coefficient of x squared. The numerical coefficient of x squared is equal to 3. Let us divide both sides of this equation by 3. 3x squared divided by 3 is equal to x squared. Negative 5x divided by 3 is equal to negative 5 over 3x. Negative 2 divided by 3 is equal to negative 2 over 3. Step number 3, square 1 half the numerical coefficient of x and add the result to both sides of the equation. The numerical coefficient of x is negative 5 over 3. 1 half of negative 5 over 3 or negative 5 over 3 divided by 2 is equal to negative 5 over 6. Negative 5 over 6 squared is equal to 25 over 36. Let us add 25 over 36 to both sides of the equation. And we have x squared minus 5 over 3x plus 25 over 36 is equal to negative 2 over 3 
plus 25 over 36. Let us factor the perfect square trinomial on the left side. x squared minus 5 over 3x plus 25 over 36 is equal to the square of x minus 5 over 6. On the right side, negative 2 over 3 plus 25 over 36 is equal to negative 24 over 36 plus 25 over 36. Since negative 2 over 3 is equal to negative 24 over 36. Negative 24 over 36 plus 25 over 36 is equal to 1 over 36. Step number 4. Extract the root of both sides of the equation. The square root of the square of x minus 5 over 6 is equal to x minus 5 over 6. Square root of 1 over 36 is equal to positive negative 1 over 6. Step number 5, solve the resulting equation. To solve for x, we need to add positive 5 over 6 to both sides of the equation. Negative 5 over 6 plus 5 over 6 is equal to 0, so we have x on the left side. On the right side, we have 5 over 6 plus minus 1 over 6. Let us separate the two values. For x sub 1, we have 5 over 6 plus 1 over 6 and this is equal to positive 1. x sub 2, we have 5 over 6 minus 1 over 6 and this is equal to 4 over 6. 4 over 6 in lowest term is 2 over 3. And the values of x are positive 1 and positive 2 over 3. And that is how to solve quadratic equation by completing the square. That's all for this video. Thank you for watching.